It's not easy to get up here, but it's, it's nice up here. The views, I like it. You can kind of see everything there is to see from here. <laughs> In the Satu, there's kind of, there's a lot of little towns, but everyone knows everyone. It's, it's, it's nice knowing like who's coming in and out. It's hard to appreciate something when you've, when that's all you've known your whole life, but it is really cool to think about how different we are than the rest of the world. It is, it is a really special place. Coming out wasn't very hard because I have such supporting family and friends. To this day, I've never told them like I'm bisexual, but it's just kind of been a thing that we both know. And for some people, they need to have that conversation and that's an important thing to them. But in a small town, it's definitely hard because once one person knows, it's like a wildfire, like everyone knows. And depending on who you are, people do talk about it. Like, oh, these people's daughter, did you hear that she's gay? And it's just, it, it can be so toxic. I've been in the GSA for three years and the amount of pushback that we received before and before I was even in the GSA was a lot more than we get now, which is amazing that people have gotten used to it and understand it more now. Everyone here is so passionate and cares so much about our GSA and what we can do to make it better. We're learning a program, it's called the fourth R, so like reading, writing, arithmetic, and relationships. So we teach things like how to come out, how to support each other with mental health, and how to do a checklist to try and figure out how your own mental health is doing. And One of our biggest focuses in our GSA is being there for people who feel like they don't have anyone there for them, no matter if it's about their gender or their sexuality or their religion or their race. And I think that's so important, especially in a small town because we don't have as many resources or people or anything as other places. So it's not like you can have friends from another school or go somewhere else because this is, this is it, this is what we have. So we have to make the best of what we do have. And I think we've done a pretty good job of supporting those people who, whose parents may not be as welcoming. One, two, three, Super Day! Woo! And I think that that's just really cool to see in such a small town. Because that's definitely more than a lot of people can say, even in larger towns. I think it's really special.